Um, we're going to talk about being scared, man. And there's a couple of guys that really know the true meaning of fear, really know the true meaning of absolutely shitting yourself. These were a couple of Canadian guys. Now, Canadians are pretty tough. They're, uh, you know, they're nearly as tough as Australians. And I came across these guys a couple of months ago. I found their, uh, their channel on YouTube. And I was just really... First, first, the first thing that impressed me was the way that they um, put everything together, their production of their videos. But then the evidence that I saw really, really creeped me out. But uh, don't take it from me. Check this out. So it sounds like some. What was that? That's what that was. You throw a box and you say yes, it's the box. So it sounds like some. What was that? You make something else move. I hope they didn't oh. smoke before this. Where are you? I can't. This is fucking gibberish now. Holy shit. What is that? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> it's like they know they're in a haunted house. They're hearing things. They're going, what the hell was that? Uh, yeah, yeah, we think we know what it is. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, um, coming all the way from um, from the beautiful the beautiful country of Canada, um, I've got the guys from Paranormies, uh, Jordan and Johnny. Welcome to the show. What's up, fellas? Hey, how's it going? going? <laughs> um, can I just ask, how do you remain so calm in a situation like that? I mean, we're not calm, really. Like, the adrenaline is going. But I guess, like, for me, it's like when stuff like that is how it freaks me out. But it's also kind of makes me, like, happy because, like, this is what we came for. And if we weren't getting this, then we wouldn't, you know, have a video. So, so let's jump back a little bit. Have you guys always been into the paranormal? And when did you guys decide that you were going to go out and check out these haunted places and try and capture some um, really, really astonishing evidence? Um, well, I mean, for me, uh, it was a long time ago for me with when it goes back to I, my parents and stuff and um, my uncle. There's a lot of crazy stories there. Um, I shared a little bit. We're gonna, I want to be, I'm going to be sharing it more in an actual episode. But what happened was basically my uncle was into some crazy shit when he was younger and that kind of led me into doing it. And then I came up with, uh, came to Jordan with the idea probably in October and he was down right away. Cause this is kind of something we used to do is, uh, when we were in our, I don't know, 16 years old or yeah, something. Like when like we were that. in high school, we would like drive around the like haunted spots and we would just kind of, we were too scared then. So we sat in the car and we were just like watching for stuff. Like, uh, if we would walk past the window and we did see something one time, walk past the window at, at a haunted house that we are interested in and we just drove away right away but yeah all this time later and like you know 10 10 11 years later uh johnny just uh, hit me up he's like hey why don't we start a paranormal investigation youtube channel and it was something that i had never even like considered doing something that never crossed my mind but talking to him a little bit more he was like just so passionate about it and i knew then that we would have an amazing channel and so far it has been we've like got all kinds of great evidence people are loving our videos and it's it's insane the amount of growth we've got in the last couple of months so yeah i'm really glad about that it's going really well would you say that when you kind of capture evidence like this is it kind of like an addicting feeling like you capture something that's so astounding and you go okay okay this shit is real this shit is happening does it make you just want to go deeper and find more stuff and, and go to scarier places is it is it is it like an addiction guys it, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. It's an addiction. Like it's the adrenaline, but it's also when you get into a moment where there's something like that being thrown that you can't see. And that's why kind of why we do the picture in picture. Cause we want to catch, we want to show every angle. And it's, it's another thing that we want to do is bring people along with us that want to have these experiences. So we can share them with them as well. We'll go back to some of the locations we've been. With, uh -oh. uh, 
subscribers oh, and viewers. Because this big muscly guy with the tattoos just put his hand up and said that he'd be uh, willing to go on one of these investigations. Ryan, would you would you, do, would, you, would, you, would, you, would you do that, Ryan? Would you go with these guys? Yeah, I mean, dude, I just smashed my, my nose into the uh, well, dude, yeah, our, uh, our buddies in uh, our buddies in uh, the haunted side are actually from Nevada, and we're going to be whenever things open up at the border, we're going to be coming down doing some in uh, investigation with them. So, Ryan, like, we'd be so glad to have you along. I would love to. I'm so skeptical, man. I, I wish I, I, mean, I want to see some crazy shit, to be honest. Yeah. Like, yeah, you uh, know, I, these guys are smart guys. I, it's not like I'm doubting it. Just I've never seen it and I've always wanted to. Do you have to be like open to it or is that is that like? No, bullshit? I don't think you have to be. Yeah, I think that's bullshit. That I think bullshit? you don't have to be open to it because if something's going to happen, it's going right? to happen. Yeah. So, yeah. for instance, if you're sitting there in a haunted house and someone rips your hat off your head and you're and, and there's no one there, are you going to believe then or are you going to think? Can we roll that clip? Can we roll that hat clip in? And can you guys just um let, let just just watch this for a second, you know Ryan? So this is watch his beanie. Why are you staying here? Why are you staying here? Dude, go, 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 go. I can't see. Grab the light, grab the light, grab the light, grab the light, dude. Grab the light. Ow, ow. Okay, okay, so Jordan. Yeah. It, it looked like the, your, not only was your hat pulled, it kind of looked like your head was pulled neck. as well. Your oh, neck it as was. well. Can you, can you explain that situation? Yeah. So what we were doing was called a sensory deprivation test. I had um, our spirit box in my ears with headphones, so I could not hear anything that was going on. And I had my beanie pulled in front of my eyes. So all I can hear is just the spirit box just in my ears. going. I'm just trying to pick out any words that I can hear. And... Yeah, man, it just, it felt like something kind of just grabbed the back of it and just kind of like pulled my head that way. And I actually thought it was Johnny at first, because sometimes we mess with each other just to keep each other on our toes in these investigations. But then when it pulled up a little bit and I saw he was still standing in front of me, then I was absolutely terrified. And it actually felt like I had to like wrestle my head away from it a little bit before I could actually like run down the stairs after Johnny. So I suppose a physical touch is probably one of the, is like the, um, you guys say the holy grail. A physical touch is, is like the holy grail of paranormal investigation. Would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. I would because there's nothing more real than feeling something, you know, do that. Or even like sometimes you felt something just like a brush on the shoulder or something like or, that. Or, yeah, even just like kind of pulling on your shirt and stuff yeah. like that. That's always weird too. Is there ever like uh, – because I noticed when I when – I, I, I said Marcus, I had this girl I, I dated and she was all in like the paranormal shows and whatnot. It, it seemed like there's like different levels of those like malevolent ghosts and there's like – like demonic shit. It, you, have you guys oh, yeah, ever yeah. like dealt with something like that? That's where it gets kind of like scary for me. When you start talking, I mean, I mean even though I don't take like not that most religious person, it's just still scary. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. we're like we're not crazy religious at all either. So like, when we went to the the church and stuff, we were you know yelling pussy and shit like that. Like yeah. we're getting we're getting pretty vulgar <laughs> before his yeah. got yanked. So. Yeah, but, we we said all kinds of crazy stuff that's not in the video just to provoke. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, every like so many of our viewers say. It's demonic. Like if if something can do this, it's demonic. We don't believe that that's everything's demonic. We just you know it, there can be a if you're a dick in real life, you're a dick in the afterlife. <laughs> like yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right on. That makes sense. Exactly. So so there's this one. There's this one. Uh, is the the other clip, which is which is actually one of my favorite clips uh, of the table tipping. Can you just explain the background of that house and how you found out about it and how you came to investigate it? And then we're going to show the clip after this. Yeah. You want to tell that story? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So we got an Instagram message of somebody that lived in town um, that is kind of a couple of miles probably away from that place. And Jordan ended up reading it and we got in touch with them. And then we went to the address uh, probably a month before we actually filmed anything. And we went there and I I took a piece of the like property there. It was a it was a weird little sign. Like it had the, the address on it and, and it was like made of metal. It looked like it was handmade. I took it with us and then I accidentally brought it back when we filmed the episode and it was in my camera bag and I didn't have it with me. And we were kind of asking ourselves, is that why everything happened when we were there? So we don't know, but I, I was going to bring it back, but I haven't brought it back yet. But so, so this is an abandoned house and uh, what, what was the past? Did anything go on in there? Did anything um, nefarious go on in that house? Yeah. We don't know like, like specifically if anything violent happened there. But we know that um, the first owners of the house, um, like this is like a passed down story from people in the area. 
that they would leave their house every night or most evenings and they were to turn in the morning and they never really got an answer from the owners why they they were leaving every night they would ask like hey is everything all right yeah. and um no they eventually uh they moved out and they never came back the neighbors never saw them again and anyone who ever like lived in that house for two or three years um yeah they were only there for about Which, two or three years before before they left and we actually somebody reached out to us after watching the episode actually two people reached out one person who actually lived in the house for six months renting it um because it got passed between so many people as we mentioned but somebody reached out and said that they lived there for six months in the same room that the people that talked to us were having sex in she she stayed in that room and she said that all kinds of crazy shit happened so we're going to interview her and and release that yet too and okay, then so 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 you had auditory evidence and also physical evidence can you just set up the clip before we play it as far as the staircase and then and then obviously what went yeah. on afterwards yeah so me and i was telling jordan a story about what happened to me when i went on like this i went on this ghost hunt for my birthday because it's always been something that interests me but my buddies wanted to come and my brothers and stuff so we went and did it and we were kind of going in skeptical because we're, we're like this has got to be a, a charade of some sort and we came to this part where they were doing table tipping so you take your pinky and your index finger and you put it underneath the table so that you can't have leverage with your thumbs and you're supposed to ask questions sit there kind of like almost a ouija board session and it's supposed to start moving or vibrating or whatever so i did it and the table was vibrating like crazy and i was kind of looking around underneath like is there any anybody touching with their feet nothing and then we hopped out and then this lady went in and she did it and she, the table started moving everywhere like across the room like they were almost out of their reach and she started freaking out crying she said that somebody was talking to her in her head and then so we there was a table sitting there there was like there was like four tables in the barn there was one in the house no idea why there's so many tables but we were going to set it up and try it so we put this table together setting up our cameras to get in the spot and all of a sudden something comes running down the stairs and you can actually see the shadow in the video of it running down the stairs and then we backed off and then the table just flipped, just flipped. and so a bunch you of people actually, you, you actually heard the footsteps boom 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 down the yeah. stairs and then the table yeah. flipped over yeah all right can we run that clip hit the hit the bong right now and then freak yourself out <laughs> okay yeah so i kind of want to set up a camera in that corner there and i want to set up a camera either in this corner or Dude, what was that? What? Jordan. Jordan. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'd be like, no, I'm not fucking okay. <laughs> Where should we go, dude? I want to get out of here for a minute, dude. dude. I don't want to go upstairs, back over upstairs. There. Grab that light, grab that light. Fuck. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I mean, pretty, pretty incredible. And for for someone, you guys that are relatively new at this, that's pretty astounding to catch that kind of um evidence, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it isn't I mean if like I I don't want to go too much into my past, but if I did go into my past, I kind of want to wait for the episode to come out. Um it actually it's kind of it's not a surprise. It's not, it's not a surprise, no. So do you think everything ties in together eventually? Like if you're, if you're, if you're looking at, um, if you're reading books with five pointed stars and, and fucking with Ouija boards and, and then all of a sudden you're, you, you come to this kind of part of your life, do, do you think you kind of like, I don't want to say invited in, but it just becomes like for yeah. Ryan, he, you know what I mean? Could Ryan walk in there and have a table flip over unless he did it himself on a oh. road rage? I don't know, yeah. but you need to let me know. Could he go in there? And could they... <laughs> I, I think I think he could. I think you could. And I think uh, when we went to the Hangman's Church there, where Jordan's two got pulled, I think you have a really good shot there too, um, because we've there's people have messaged us telling us stories like they went there and a bleach bottle, like an empty bleach bottle, was thrown at their head, and then people have sent us pictures where they see like a kid standing there that wasn't there and. And then a dead, like a, a raccoon walked right up to the church and just died. And they took a picture and I posted it to her Instagram about that too. It's just like weird shit happens there. Yeah. And, and how are your parents, like, are they, are they happy with what you guys are doing? I fucking love it. No, no, they don't, <laughs> no they, they're, they're not huge, huge fans. They're not huge fans about the Ouija board in the church. Yeah. But uh, they, they think it's cool that we're doing something that we love and we're, like we're building a, like a YouTube channel that, yeah. you know, yeah. they're, they're very and, happy about that. And your channel is just growing 
so quickly your your subscribers are great your your views are, are are great you know the way that you guys edit everything and put it together with the music and i think you guys are doing a really good job you How'd guys you find them so actually someone sent me a link and said oh you got to check these guys out they're new and they it was actually the table flipping one and i was like because I'm kind of into this kind of stuff. And, you know, I used to be a Ghost Adventures fan. I used to be a Ghost Hunters fan. And then, you know, it kind of goes from supposedly real to kind of parody. And so I'm always searching and looking for something that's authentic and real and something that, like, kind of tickles my fancy. So I found these guys and I just thought, yeah, I've just got to interview you guys. So where, where was your uh, inspiration, guys? Was it Zach Bagans? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, not, not Zach Baggins. Definitely my inspiration not. is Johnny. So. <laughs> um, my, my inspiration is actually, I think the haunted side, the haunted side is what they're, they're like you said, they're, they're from, he's from Texas, but now he lives in Nevada. Uh, I think he lives right outside Reno. Right. I can't remember where you say he's somewhere. He's somewhere in Nevada. Yeah. So him, like he's his kind of his, the way he, the way he investigates and stuff has kind of been an inspiration for me. I love how he does it. He keeps it really authentic and stuff. Um, and that, and then uh, there's another YouTube channel called Mindseed who they're, they're not, I guess, maybe not as authentic seeming, but their editing style is kind of the editing style we went for. Yeah. So we dialogue, yeah. we do dialogue scenes to try and explain things that people might've missed. And, and we go out to the cabin and do all that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, like so. our dialogue and storytelling, I think, is a main part of our videos that a lot of similar channels don't have and something that we really excel at. So yeah. that, was, that, was, that was inspired by Monseed. Well, the authenticity of your commentary throughout is what gives it the believable. I'm not saying that it's not, you know what I mean? It, it gives it that believable that, yeah. approach where people yeah, yeah. are drawn in and they're interested. Um, you look scared now, Ryan. <laughs> I want to do anything, man. You look like you need that a drink. Fun. You look like you need a drink. I'll do a drink. So a drink. one of our amazing, amazing affiliates here at the podcast um, is the finest, the tastiest Irish whiskey on the planet. Now, if you're a whiskey drinker like me, I've tried them all. This by far is number one. Uh, Ryan, have you tried proper twelve Irish whiskey? I have now. You have now. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't even matter how good it tastes because it's the man, the myth, the legend himself, Conor McGregor. Yeah. Absolutely. So Absolutely. it doesn't even matter. But so, it, does, it does taste great. So let's. Uh, do you want to just grab that bottle behind let's you do it. and just top top those up a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead. And then this is the part of the show. It's actually one of my favorite parts I of the show, and I think it's the reason why I get to get all these people coming on my podcast. We call this next part the passing of the proper. So the boys. The boys send me over some whiskey, and the good part about this is, is that I uh, I get to um, I get to give it to all my guests that come on the show as a thank you. So, uh, Mr. Ryan Diaz from Fit Club, uh, on behalf of my podcast and the notorious one himself, here's your first bottle of Proper Twelve, my friend. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Insert harp music there, <laughs> but I kind of I kind of I kind of feel bad for the boys in in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come What's on, going now. on, man. Come on, hook us up over here. Okay, so um, let, let me and Ryan just have our little toast first, right? You right there, E? Ooh, lovely. All right. So I tell you what, even though my brothers are in Canada, with the magic of television, we call this the passing of the proper virtually, boys. I'm going to, uh, hang on a second. I'm going to. There we go. Yeah. 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 Can you believe that? No, we got to have a toast. <laughs> Let's have a toast, boys. Let's have a proper toast. Don't worry about the, don't worry about ghosts. Look, we can, we can pass whiskey through the TV. Yeah, Exactly. That's some paranormal shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toast to Marcus Deegan, Ryan Diaz, and to Conor McGregor, who will take his revenge against Dustin Poirier on July 10th. Let's go. A. Absolutely. Let's do it, boys. I wouldn't fight me either. <laughs> I wouldn't fight me either. So, um, so what's coming up in the future, my friends? What's coming up? Um, what do you want people to know? Where can people find you? Where can people, I mean, what's happening? So we have a lot of big plans now. Um, we're trying to make the transition um, to go a bit more full-time in YouTube. So we have a lot of great locations. We are lining up a U.S. tour exactly when 
the board was open. So we want to go to the Conjuring House, uh, Lizzie Borden yes. House, oh, um, cool. all over Vegas. And then we got uh, Dallas Chandler, uh, Playboy model who wants to come on a, uh, on a one with us. So hey, Ryan, you can come on that one too. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm, not, I'm not a Playboy model, but you know, I'll go, I'll go shirtless if you want. I'll play your prize right away. <laughs> <laughs> They'll hear some yeah. they'll hear like, oh, who's that flamboyant? Yeah, like, is that a ghost? No, it's Ryan banging the Playboy model. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> who's that flamboyant exactly. gay, gay guy who uh, does, hunts uh, ghosts? Zach Bagans? Is that his name? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> is that a ghost hunters guy? Uh, I don't know who that is. Who is that? You ever, have you seen him before? He's yep. like, uh, he's this, he's this flamboyant gay guy. That's what I don't know. The, the girl I used to date watched that guy. Oh, I, don't know. I feel like you guys are the exact opposite. Though. Yeah, no, you guys are like rocker guy. <laughs> ghost you see how much whiskey he just did? How much proper twelve whiskey they just did in one shot? <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. can we put up their uh, their Patreon and can we put up their mer- so you guys got some merchandise that you got coming out now? We have badass merch. We got like we got hoodies, obviously t-shirts. We actually have ladies' underwear too. That have been a pretty big hit so far. So check that out. Chicks love um, ghosts. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they exactly. do. Most of our, uh, the majority of our audience is female too. So, mm. is that right? Uh, when they, when I, was, I was about to, I was going to ask that, but I don't know if it'd be appropriate. I was like, do you, how 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 well has this done for you with the females and the ghost side? Yeah, it's like, hey, you want to? Oddly eat, enough, we're getting we're getting DMs from chicks that were too good yeah. for us in high school. Though. I'm uh, I'm engaged, so I, I can I can only look. But uh, Jordan, 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 I'm the single one. Jordan I'm has, not handling it. I'm going to handle it. He has some Jordan, fun. Jordan looks Irish there with that red. Look at how Irish Jordan looks. He's got rubes. Irish is fuck. You know what rubes are? Red pubes, rude. <laughs> oh, the carpet does match the pubes. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, this is Canada's hey, uh, carrot top here. So, carrot top's a good friend of mine, actually. So, I, but listen, I guys, know, I know. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Uh, when you guys are here in Vegas, let's link up. Maybe come into the studio, and uh, we we can do maybe a little bit of a session in here. One of our beautiful, beautiful friends. Mary Wilson uh, from the Supremes, who used to sit in this chair right here um, and was in this podcast room every week for, for a long time, uh, suddenly passed away not long ago. We maybe think that there was a little flicker of lighting here and there, but maybe we'd love you guys to come in and into the studio and, and uh, may- maybe do a little bit of a session in here in this beautiful big building. We would love for that. For sure. I mean, Absolutely. and now we're, we're actually just getting our first uh, sponsorship worked out with um, – with, um, company that designs and produ- and d- produces all sorts of uh, t- new tests so we're going to be then if we do that we'll have all sorts of new tests that we can bring along to and use them there for the first time as well so yeah that'd be awesome well um you know obviously it's great talking to you guys from i, I love the canadians man i've spent a lot of time there I- i've had a lot of my tattoos in canada and um and you know um, i came across you guys i think you guys do really really quality work i think it's only a matter of time before you blow up i just love the way that you're doing things with your authenticity of your show your editing your your your, your music and just just your full production of it so brothers i just wish you the best uh in your endeavors and i just hope this blows up for you as i know it will thank you very much appreciate man. that that means a lot man that's great yeah and uh and we'd love to have you back in and, absolutely uh, anytime yeah and fucking ryan diaz my good friend my old friend i'm just so proud of you and i'm so happy of what you're doing and you know just your business sense is obviously really really working you're you're really solidifying you know you're already great established name even bigger here in vegas and and i and i just i just couldn't wish i i would love to come in there and have a workout it's been anytime a while you want, baby anytime you want you it's already know while. Hey, and the same to you, sir. I I, I appreciate all this here, but the same to you. This place is fucking awesome. My man's verified. I still haven't been verified. <laughs> yeah, you're verified. And dude, this is this is so cool, man. And uh, what's crazy, I saw I saw your interview with Robin Black. Yeah. And like how he complimented you was was first of all so right on and just so fucking cool. Yeah. Because that yeah. guy doesn't have an inauthentic bone in his body. No. <laughs> He's cool as shit. Yeah, man. He, uh, you know, it was definitely a great. Uh, you know, and, and, and it's basically having guests like you and, and guests like the boys on the show that kind of is solidifying my mark in the podcast. You know, obviously we love our sports and our entertainment, but um, I, I want to mix it up a bit. I want to interview ghost hunters. I want to be Bigfoot guys, drag queens, strippers, porn stars, juice heads. I want to I want ah, to <laughs> do, do it all. Um, so, yeah, uh, Jordan and Johnny, thank you very much, brothers. And uh, we will... Talk to you soon. Hopefully, I see you guys when you guys come to Vegas, man. Let's do it up. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I want to. Yeah, I want to take you guys out to the nightclub. The 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 ghost hunters out, man. Yeah. Seriously, if you guys get in, let me take you guys out. Yeah, we'll come out to the Fit Club too. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 
Get these guns yeah. going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these guys. Hey. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, Johnny, thank you so much, guys. God bless. Thanks, man. Have a good, good one. Good you guys. Yeah. How good was that? Cool, man. They're cool, cool man. guys, too. That's always cool is when they're cool, you know? Yeah, man. I mean, we always just... Everyone that's been on this show has just been fucking unreal and epic. And it just, it just makes it like... I had a bunch of... It happens every time, you know, and, I've, and I've, Joe Rogan taught me this. Don't write anything down. Just, just fucking go organic. Yeah. Know who you're talking to. Know their name and that's the it. The godfather of all of them. But listen, guys, first of all, I want to thank everyone for the support over the last year that I've been doing this podcast. The What Happens Here podcast, we're changing things up a little bit, my friends. We are making things bigger and better than you've ever seen before. So as of next week, there will be no more What Happens Here podcast. But guess what? We're changing it. Next week, you will be seeing The Marcus Deegan Show, a proper podcast. I want to thank everybody for joining us. Get ready for this, man. We've got some huge shit coming up. This is Marcus Deegan for the What Happens Here podcast for the last time with my good man, Brian Diaz. Everybody, thank you very much. Title Sport, Proper 12. Everyone listening and watching around the world, this is Marcus Deegan. Love you guys. Play that intro. Hey, see you next week. What happens here is dead. Long live the Marcus Deegan show. <laughs>